Hey guys, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of my favourite videos to film, if I'm being honest. They're not a very common video, <laughs> um, but I just love doing these type of videos. I just think they're really fun. I always search these type of videos up whenever I've been on a trip anywhere. But as you would have seen in my previous vlogs before this video, I went to Disneyland Paris again for my 21st birthday and it was the best time ever. I had so much fun. If you are a new viewer to the channel, hi. <laughs> Basically, we did go to Disneyland Paris in the summer. I did vlog my whole time there, so I will link them in the description box just so you can go and watch them if you do fancy it. Went to Disneyland Paris in the summer and I'm always planning to go next year in the summer as well, 2024. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded before 2024 or in 2024. I think more likely in 2024. So we were always planning to go to Disney this summer <laughs> if we are in 2024 as you're watching this. But my parents surprised me with Disneyland Paris again for my 21st birthday and if I'm being completely honest I couldn't have asked for a better birthday present as know how much I love Disney so it was just so much fun we had such great time we went for two days as I mentioned before I did vlog my birthday trip so that will be in the link in the description box down below so today I'm going to show you everything that I bought on my birthday <laughs> so this is technically a what I got for my birthday but I bought it myself while I was in the parks. We literally got back yesterday. The day that I'm filming this we got back yesterday um so my body's a little achy I'm a little tired but it's a good tired. I had so much fun and it was so nice going to the parks during the Christmas season. Like it's a complete, it's like, it just feels like a whole different vibe. It's just so lovely and it's so cozy. I loved the music that was playing. It was really lovely. I had the best time. So enough rambling. Let me show you what I bought for Disneyland Paris during the Christmas season. When I was looking at the merch compared to the stuff that I saw in the summer, a lot of it was still there, but also there were some like pins and select items that were not there when I went in the summer. So there's definitely brand new merch that I'd never seen before. Obviously you had the Christmas stuff and you had like new pins. There were a lot of new pins. I didn't actually get too many pins this trip compared to the summer. Um, I guess it's because I went so recently, like I'd already got a majority of the pins that I wanted, but they did have like loads of brand new Peter Pan pins. They had loads of Alice in Wonderland, Stitch. I believe they're like these Valentines as well. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I did actually get four bags, but I've managed to fit it all into two bags. <laughs> so also we really love Disney's reusable bags. So I wanted to get as many as possible. These are the bags that we have. One big one, which is the red design. And then we also have a medium one. We didn't get any small ones actually, um, now that I think about it. The small one was a green bag, I think I remember. Um, so yeah, we got the medium and the large. So I have stuff filled in these bags. All of the stuff that I purchased is able to fit into these two bags. I haven't really got anything in the large bag, but I did just want to show you the brand new bags that they've come out with. So in my last haul, we went during the 30th anniversary of the parks. They had the 30th themed bags, which I absolutely love the designs of. Um, they're literally in my boot and I use them as like shopping bags now. But these were the new bags. So as you can see, it's like illustration type. So on one side it says Disneyland Paris, and you've got Mickey, Minnie, Aurora and Tiana and Stitch. I really like the different types of characters on here as well. Like you've got the classics, you've got the princesses, and then you also have Stitch, which is very, very popular. The sides are just red, and then on the back you have studios. So again, it says Disneyland Paris, but this is like representing studios. This is representing Fantasyland. And on the studio side you have Spider-Man, which I'm very happy about because Spider-Man is my favourite. <laughs> And you have Buzz Lightyear and you also have Ratatouille. They've kind of put the most popular characters within those parks on the bags. So obviously Mickey Minnie, Stitch, there's so much Stitch merch, I cannot tell you. Obviously you've got a lot of princess merch as well, so that's why the princesses are there. Then Spider-Man, it's kind of like the face of the Avengers I feel in Disneyland Paris, like you see more Spider-Man than you do of any other superhero. Essentially the same concept on the blue, it is just smaller and in blue. I do prefer the blue one, I just, I really like it. That's the bags, let's start with what I actually bought. Should we start with the pins? Cause they're the smallest. I didn't actually buy as many pins as last time. Last time I literally bought like 20 pins, I feel. I think I only bought about six or seven this time around, which is very big progress. I was expecting to buy way more, but I just didn't see too many that I was like, I'd need that in my life, do you know? So in no particular order, first we have this bell pin. I think this is so pretty. When I went in the summer, there were literally no bell pins. There was literally, I got, um, 
like Belle in her peasant dress last time. That was literally the only Belle pin I could find. And then obviously they had like the Beast in like Lumiere and Cogsworth, but I just, I, I wanted Belle and that was the only one I could find. But this time around they had four variations of Belle. So I got one of the four and I got this one with her reading to Lumiere and I just think it's a really cute pin. It's really pretty. And like I've mentioned loads of times before, Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney films. Tangled is my ultimate favorite like Disney film that I love. Um, and constantly rewatch, but they don't have much Tangled stuff in the park. I really want more Tangled stuff. By next time that I go, please let there be more Tangled merch. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Let's continue with the princess theme. I got a lot of princess pins this time around because last time there weren't too many. There was like, the main princesses that were available were Aurora, Ariel and Cinderella, and they had like multiple versions of them. I got one of each, but even like with Cinderella pins, they didn't really have many um so the next i got the cinderella pin i absolutely love this i just think it's really cute and really pretty it actually accidentally purchased this twice um, and i noticed the day after because when i was shopping i did all of my main shopping on the first day in the evening um so then we weren't like lumbered around with it in the park and because i was buying so much i forgot what pins i bought and then that evening when we got to the Airbnb, I noticed I actually bought two of these. So I did return one of them. So I only have one now, but yeah, I really like this pin. I think it's really pretty. I like how the birds are like helping her get ready. I just think it's really cute and very like magical, that one. Next, I love Aladdin. Aladdin again is one of my favorite Disney films. Um, I don't mention that too much. I just, I think it's because Tangled is my ultimate favorite. I've mainly focused on that, but I really do love Aladdin. So I got this one and it's of Aladdin and Jasmine. I just thought it was really cute. This was literally the only one of Aladdin and Jasmine that I could find. And these were very rare throughout the park. So I was looking at different stores. I think only like three stores had this pin, but it was really pretty. I really liked it. I like how it has Aladdin and Jasmine. So I got that one. And in terms of princess pins, the last one that I got was a Tiana pin. I wanted this on my last trip, but they didn't have any Tiana pins, but this time they did, which was really great. They had quite a few and they had like four different variations. So I got this one and it's Tiana in her blue dress. I really love her blue dress. I just think it's one of the prettiest dresses. So I wanted her in her blue one. They did have her in her like main green dress, but I just preferred this one. So I got that. So next I got some Christmas pins. Um, they did have a few, but not too many that I thought they would. They mainly had like Stitch in a Christmas outfit, or I think that was a Winnie the Pooh one in a Christmas outfit. And I mainly just wanted like the classic like Fab Five in their Christmas outfits kind of pins. So the first one that I found was this one and it's of Pluto. I absolutely love Pluto. So I thought it was really cute. And then he's in his little Christmas attire. And yeah, I just thought it was really sweet. And I don't have a Pluto pin either. Um, and he's balancing like a gingerbread Santa <laughs> on his nose. So I have that one. And it's of Mickey and Minnie. Literally, I didn't see this anywhere apart from the little pin trading stand outside the Gibson girl. That was the only time that I saw this pin and it was the last one on the rack <laughs> so I was like I have to get that I just really like it because it's Mickey and Minnie and I absolutely love the colors it's like pastel um and it's just them in their Christmas outfits with some presents and I just really like it it's classic Christmas love that okay and the last pin that I got we ate at the yacht club for my birthday dinner and it was really lovely and I had like a cake brought out to me. It was the best. You would have seen in the vlogs if you watch the vlogs. Again, that's linked in the description. I got a pin to commemorate that meal. So this is from the Newport Bay Hotel. You can only get this at the Newport Bay Hotel, but it looks like this. It's just a Sailor Mickey and then it says, what does it say? Newport Bay Club, which is really cute. So funny story with this, I bought this we went home that evening and then I was like, wait, where's my Newport Bay club pin? Like, I can't find it anywhere. I looked in all of the bags, all of my bags that I were carrying throughout the day. My parents and I literally turned the Airbnb upside down and couldn't find this pin. I was like, oh my God, I've lost it. The One of the main pins that's sentimental, I lost. If I lost a character pin, I'd just be like, oh, it is what it is. But like, cause this one had meaning, I was like, I've got to find this. And I couldn't find it anywhere looked under the bed like everything and I was like right I'm gonna have to repurchase it because I'm gonna be gutted if I've actually lost that and then I go home and realize I still can't find it so I went to repurchase it which is this one <laughs> even though this one has actually a defect and I didn't notice that when I bought it it like a part of the club writings come off so that's a bit annoying i purchased this and I was like okay at least I've got it now I know I've had to buy the same pin twice but it is what it is got home yesterday unpacking my stuff 
the one that I lost originally turn up. So now I have two of these. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad about it because I weren't to know. I thought I ge it genuinely like fell out of my bag throughout the day and like I just lost it in the park or whatever, but no. I have both of them right here, but I'm really glad that I have the two because my mum actually really wants one, so she's gonna keep one. They were literally all the pins I got. Let's move on to like the other little um, knickknacks as well that I got. I got some souvenir coins. Um, I just think these are really cute little collectibles. So first I got this one and it says Disneyland Paris and it's got Mickey Mouse with uh, Sleeping Beauty's castle. On the back it just says France and it has the outline of France as well. I like that it says 2024 as well. And this one, is it gonna focus? There we go. Um, It's Mickey Mouse with a 2024 in the background and a bunch of fireworks and it says Disneyland Paris. And on the back, it pretty much says the same thing as the last one. And these were like three euros each and they are like metal. So they're really cute, really nice. Next, I got this little magnet. I thought this was really cute. At first I was like, I literally don't have anywhere to put my magnet, but this green unit that I have behind me is actually metal. So I can stick this on there now, which I'm so happy about. I mainly bought it just because I love the design of it. So they had a lot of like attraction merch, so, like retro posters and retro designs of the attractions in the park. So this is a little magnet and it's of the Curious Labyrinth, which is the Alice in Wonderland maze. And I just really love the colors of it. I really love the design. I love like retro posters and like vintage looking stuff. So I just loved it. This was like five euros, so really not bad at all. So I have to keep refocusing my camera. I didn't buy these, but I did take a lot of Polaroids. Whenever I go on a Disney trip, I always love to take Polaroids. Some of them turn out really well. Like I did some meet and greets with characters, which turned out really, really well. And these ones <laughs> didn't turn out too great. That one definitely didn't. This one of Disney Village turned out quite cute. I'm sorry, you can't see it. They're not that good anyway, so. These ones actually turned out all right. It's of the Christmas tree in Main Street, and then you have like the side of the castle. It's kind of bleached out, but like, it looks quite cute. Okay, let's move on. So let me get what I have in this bag because I literally only have two items in this bag. Oh, three items. Right, I wasn't gonna buy a pair of ears this time around because these are the ears that I bought for my trip. Um, I've been wanting these ears for literally ages. Um, these are actually from the Disneyland Tokyo Resort. I bought these on eBay, brand new. These were my ears for the park and I was like, right, I'm not gonna get any more because I've literally bought these for this trip. But then I saw these. I cannot leave them. We are planning to go again, you know, in 2024. So I'm gonna wear them, but like, I was really debating myself because I was like, oh my God, it's not like we go to the parks often. Like, is it a waste of money? But then I was like, you know what? This is my birthday trip. I went on my birthday. So I was like, it's a, it's a birthday present to myself. So I bought these ears. Look at these. These are enchanted ears. Uh, ears based off of Giselle in Enchanted. I loved Enchanted when I was younger. So the fact I saw these, they're literally one, two of my favorite colors, pink and green or blue, how, whatever color you want to call this. It's like a, a teal blue mint green kind of color. I absolutely love the lace trim. I just think it's so nice. I also love the embroidery of the flowers. I love flowers. I'm obsessed with bows at the moment. And then it also has a little chip on the ear and he's embroidered and it's so and this is actually a part of the 100 Decades ears collection. These were a little bit more pricey compared to the regular ears. So these were 35 euros. And like the regular ears are kind of priced from 22 euros and up. But because they are part of the 100 Decades and... I, I think these are limited edition because I don't think it would state that otherwise. The 100th celebration is only going to go on for so long. And I was like, I am going to regret these, but I don't get them. So, like, imagine wearing these in the summer. I'm sorry, my camera's doing really bad at focusing on that. Like, how cute would these be in the summer? I can't wait. So, yeah, I bought them. I wasn't going to. I was debating it for a very long time, but I caved anyway. Next, we got this fold-out poster. I really like this because it's basically a map of the park and I just really like the vintage vibe of it. This was literally nine euros, so cheap. And I think it's a pretty big poster as well. This is what it folds out to. Oh my God, my camera's really not doing well focusing today. This is what the poster folds out to. So it is literally just a map of the park. It was nine euros. I thought it was a really, really good price. So yeah, that we're gonna put that in the hallway, I believe. We need to get a frame for that. Obviously we went during Christmas time, so I did get quite a few Christmas ornaments. So let me show you the little Christmas decks that I got. First, I got this little stocking. This I bought for my dog for her little treats at Christmas time. She doesn't have a stocking. 
I love to spoil my dog, so I had to get her a little something. Obviously, I know she can't play with it, but she got loads of Christmas presents, so she's fine. It's basically this little Minnie Mouse stocking, which is really cute, and it's a baby mini. It has a little fuzzy top. You can hang it up, and I just think it would be cute to put like little treats in at Christmas time. It was 12 euros, this one. And then on the back, it says Mon Premier Noel. I'm so sorry, I definitely butchered that. This trip, I definitely got a lot more ornaments and like stuff that I'm gonna literally have for years and years and years. Cause I wanted to buy more ornaments. So that was definitely the case. This isn't actually mine. It's technically my parents because they bought it. But I just had to show you. We love our Disney ornaments and tell how we have quite a few on the tree already. So we went into the glass store in Sleeping Beauty's castle and there was this whole collection of glass ornaments of different characters. So we got Dumbo. Dumbo is literally one of my favourites. He's the cutest. We're a little bit annoyed because look how off-centre Dumbo is. He's so off-centre. So it's a little bit annoying. All like handmade as well. It's so gorgeous. I love it. On the back, he's just got a bunch of glittery snowflakes. He does. He does light up. He lights up. How cute is that? Obviously he looks a lot cooler <laughs> in the nighttime. I just love him. I think he's so cute. I believe this was 30 euro. Next few ornaments that I saw, there was no questions about them. I had to get them. Next I got Lumia. He is so nice. I love Lumia. Again, like I said, Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. I've always wanted the 60 pound version of Lumiere, like the big one, but I've been like, where am I gonna put him? I'll get him at some point, because he's literally, I think he's one of those items that will just never be discontinued because he is just so popular. But I was like, I have the little ornament for now. And I just think he's so cool. And guess what? He does light up, so if I look. Again, he looks so much cooler at night, but He's just sick. So if I'm looking off in this direction, I'm trying to see if I'm in focus, which I am not at the moment. There we go. <laughs> it's just so cool. He was 18 euros. Like I said, it was my birthday trip. So I was like, you know what? I can spend all this money because it's my birthday. <laughs> and then of course I had to get Cogsworth. Come on now. Look how cool he looks. I love him. And these are so detailed as well. And like, they're really good. They're really great quality. I really love them. Because Lumia lights up, I really wish Cogsworth had like a little clock, like an actual working clock or like the little chime thing here move from side to side. Well, he was 15 euros, so he was 15, Lumia was 18. An expensive duo, but I absolutely love them. I just think they look so good together. And you can't get one and not the other. Do you know what I mean? They kind of come as a package deal. I do have a cold. I'm sorry if I sound really stuffy. I should mention this at the beginning of the video. My birthday's on the 26th of December, AKA Boxing Day. So they did have a little Boxing Day sale and they had a few ornaments where if it had a green dot, that meant it was additional 30% off. So this was one of those ornaments. And it's of Anna. I bought this at the Newport Bay Hotel. I saw this throughout the whole parks, um, but I caved in at the Newport Bay Hotel. And it's just really pretty. We have a lot of these iridescent baubles on our tree naturally anyway. So I thought it would really match the vibe. And it's Anna and she's wearing green. Her hair's ginger, like we're twins. <laughs> and it was 15 euros, but you did have the little green dot on it. So that made it a dish that you sent off. So I think she worked out to like 10, 12 euros, I think, something like that. I can't remember. My maths isn't very good. <laughs> Moving away from the ornaments, we did get a few other little bits. So we got this. This is actually for the kitchen. This isn't mine, my mum bought this. This was actually like advertised as a soap dish, but we're not gonna use it as that. We're gonna use it as like a little tray to put like your dirty spoon when you're cooking. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just Mickey's hand, ceramic, really nice quality. This was only eight euros and I thought that was really good. Another item we got for the kitchen was a glass. And my mum bought this again. And it's this like goblet. I think it's really nice actually. Um, I love the homeware section at Disneyland Paris. It's so nice. Um, and essentially it's just this really pretty design with a bunch of black Mickey silhouettes. And then throughout you have the odd little gold Mickey head from time to time, which I think is really cute. And this one was eight euros as well. Let's take a break from some of the ornaments and go on to like jewelry and stuff. Oh, before I do go on to them, I bought these gloves for my dad. They're like these tartan ones and on the little leather bit it says Disneyland Paris. 
um yeah they just remind me of my dad so i was like dad i'm gonna buy these for you these were 26 euros these ones uh, but i thought they were really cool and again very subtly disney i only got three pieces of jewelry but i love the disney jewelry they make it so well i saw this in the summer i regretted not picking it up so i bought it this time around so it's this necklace and it says magic with a little mickey mouse head and i just think it is the cutest thing ever again it's very subtle you wouldn't really know it's disney unless you really looked at it um but i just really love it and this was blue so i think this was 30 euros this one came to yeah i think the blue was 30 and like the red stickers were like 25 from what i remember but i'm i'm a silver girl through and through silver jewelry is my go-to doesn't mean that i'm like against wearing gold jewelry if i'm feeling the vibe then i will but i typically tend to go for silver jewelry i'm so happy that i have it and i cannot wait to wear it i only got two other pieces of jewelry so the next piece that i got literally as i say i'm a i'm a silver person i've got a gold necklace i just thought this was so pretty i couldn't leave it behind look how stunning this necklace is so it has a little star on it and a little mickey mouse and i just think it's so pretty and like i said i'm not against gold jewelry it's just not my go-to but I was like, I cannot leave this behind. It's too pretty. And again, it's very subtle. I love stars. I think it's a really pretty necklace. And this was red. So I think this was like 25. And the last piece of jewelry that I got was very special because I was planning to buy this, but my parents ended up buying it for me because it is my 21st. They wanted to get me like something physical, even though they literally bought me a trip to Disney. <laughs> I was so grateful that they bought me this. So it's a Pandora item. Let me focus the camera. It's getting very annoying having to refocus manually. <laughs> but anyway, it's a Pandora item and I picked it out in Disney Village. I was going to get this in Main Street, but they didn't have... They had Pandora, but they just didn't have like the rings. And I wanted a ring. They just had like the bangles and the charms. Bought this in Disney Village. Absolutely, I'm obsessed with it. And I've been wearing it since, literally apart from today. <laughs> so this is the ring. It is a Beauty and the Beast rose. And it's part of the Disney X Pandora collection. And I just absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's silver, of course. I also love this detail of like the leaves and then how it's like the stem like breaks here. It's just, oh my gosh, I am in love. I just love the form of it. I just think it's so pretty. And it's definitely one of those rings that I'm going to wear like all the time. Absolutely love it. And the fact that it's Beauty and the Beast as well. I love. So yeah, that was like my main piece of jewelry that I got because it's my 21st birthday present it like commemorates the whole trip so absolutely love that literally my favorite I show but look in the leaves there's like little gems as well like it's so pretty and shiny I just oh, I love it love that I'm so happy that I've got that and that is like my prized possession okay now moving on to the last few pieces these are like the big things i bought that were a little bit more money so first one comes in this as you can see i bought very delicate things which is very risky considering i'm one of the most clumsiest people on planet earth on my last video a lot of people asked me where i got certain items from if you ever go to disneyland paris majority of the stores in the parks actually do stock like a lot of the same merch but they do have very subtle differences. So some of them have like a little bit extra, some of them don't have as much, but whatever you see in one store, you're more than likely going to see in another store. So I cannot remember exactly what store I got each individual thing from because also the stores all connect to each other. So you can walk from one store to another, literally without leaving the building. If you've been to Disneyland Paris, you know what I mean. Yeah, whatever you see here, I would have got from either Main Street or Disney Village, one of the two. If you do want to know where I got the ornaments from, this was from the ornament store in Disney Village. I got this. This is a Beauty and the Beast snow globe. Very Beauty and the Beast themed um, merchandise I bought this trip. This was 30 euros, which if I'm being completely honest, did not seem like much to me. Considering like the quality that it's made at, like I just thought it was a very good price. This is what the globe looks like up close. So you have the rose and then you have this like iridescent glitter. It's very pretty. And then on the base, it's like a wood effect. And then you have the individual characters on their own little plaques. So you have Belle, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts and Chip, and the Beast. I am going to have to go through and like just go over with like paint just to cover some bits because there are like some little marks here. I think there's one on Lumiere as well. Yeah, like just just clean up little bits like this. And then it actually does play a song. So you wind it up. It 
So yeah, it plays the Beauty and the Beast song and it's just so pretty. I'm not gonna play the whole thing because I don't wanna get copyrighted. I think that would actually get me copyrighted. Next, I got another ornament. My dad actually pointed this out and I was like, he's too cute, I cannot leave him behind. Can you see who it is? It's a little stick. He's just so cute. I couldn't, I couldn't not get him. He's definitely one of those like Ivan Disneyland Paris kind of figurines because it has the Disneyland Paris on the base. But he's just so cute. I couldn't not. And he's reading a book. He's a really well-made ornament as well. Like he's very good quality. Um, and this one was 19 euros. And I loved the book as well because you can see like pictures of Lilo, Nanny, David. This is exclusive to Disneyland Paris Park. So that's really cute. I got some little post-it notes at the bottom here. Not post-it notes, postcards. I got some postcards. I love postcards. These are perfect for journaling and like sticking on my wall. It was part of like the um, attraction merchandise there was a lot of this stuff like based around the attractions so i got the curious labyrinth postcard which is the alice in wonderland maze literally the same as the magnet i just love this print i think it's so nice and then we have a hyperspace mountain because this is arguably the best thrill ride in disneyland paris okay so we have two more items left so if you've seen my last disneyland paris haul then you'd know how annoyed I was that I didn't get a Starbucks mug. Cause I was so overwhelmed, I just forgot to get it. This time around, nah -uh, honey, I bought it. I had to get the mug. So this is what the box looks like. On the top it says, you are here collection. And then it has a bunch of little Disney icons, which I think are really cute. Love the box as well. Love that it's below. Of course, I had to get the classic Disneyland Paris mug. So they, again, they had different variations. They had the Fantasyland and they also had studios. Of course, I got Fantasyland because that is my favorite park at Disney. And it just looks like this and it has a bunch of the different iconic rides throughout it. You've got the castle, you've got Thunder Mountain. I just love it. I think it's so pretty and I absolutely love the color scheme of it. It's so my aesthetic. I just love it and it's very, very big as well. I don't drink coffee or tea or hot chocolate or anything, so. I don't really know what much like use I'm gonna get out of this mug, but the fact that it's, I just, I had to get it. I didn't get it last time and I was annoyed at myself. So now I have it. And the final thing, this was my biggest purchase, I think throughout the whole trip. Apart from this, this was probably the most expensive, but, but I didn't buy this. So this was the most expensive thing that I bought. I was in debate of this, whether to get it or not. I literally got to the second day and I was like, right, should I get it, should I not? And I was debating it all night. And then I finally caved because I was like, I'm gonna regret this if I don't get it now. So I bought it. I bought this from the glass store in Sleeping Beauty's Castle. I saw it in the glass and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. It is stunning. As you can see, look at it. They had these jewelry boxes and they had them based on different princesses. So you had Snow White, had Little Mermaid. Ariel's one was really, really pretty, but when I saw that this one was a thing, I had to get this one, no questions asked. So it's rose gold. Look at the detailing around the side. Look how like regal and elegant that looks. I love the feet and the stands, so pretty. I also love this little detail of the bow. Like I mentioned before, I'm obsessed with bows at the moment. It's the fact that it's got a bow on the front. I just, I can't, it's just so, I love it. And then the top, it is a Tangled jewellery box. You all know how much I love Tangled. I am in love with this. I cannot wait to display her. I don't know if you can overly tell. It basically has a glass etching of Rapunzel and Eugene on the boat during the lanterns. And on the top it says Disney Tangled. And then it says Golden Lanterns Fill the Sky. There you go. You can see it a little bit clearer now but it's so pretty. And the fact that it's Tangled themed, I I couldn't not. So this was 50 euros, um, which is quite expensive. I was just like, I'm gonna regret this if I don't buy it. And I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have regretted it if I didn't purchase it. I'm planning on putting my jewelry in it, I think. I'm gonna get a little like jewelry cushion organizer on the inside. Again, it's not obviously Disney, but if you look at it, you're like, oh, that's Disney. Okay, I see you. So there you go guys, that was my Disneyland Paris haul. I'm sorry if this video is really long. I think I actually went on a bit of a tangent with a lot of the items. Um, I just wanted to give a bit of backstory to them. But that was all that I purchased. I'm so, 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 so lucky and 
just happy with everything that I purchased. Had the best time, like I said, I vlogged the whole experience, so they'll be linked in the description box if you do wanna check out my birthday trip. I just love all this stuff, this stuff makes me very happy. Yeah. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads from myself. I hope you all enjoyed the Disney content this time around as much as you did in the summer. Honestly, those Disney vlogs did so much better than I thought they would. In terms of like YouTube, they're not like insane views, but for me, they were very popular. So I'm really glad that you guys like them and I hope you guys like this one as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Wonderful, I'll keep you